Hi everybody, how are you? It's Mike Andrew. A recent video, I spoke about the value of being simple in business. Keep things simple. And I referred to Einstein who said that simplicity is genius. Now, when we're dealing with real technical situations or even financial terms, yeah, I mean, I always say have the confidence to ask the dumb question. What do you mean by return on invested capital? How are we measuring return on investment? What is EBITDA mean? Can you explain it? Or, you know, asking questions around technology, asking dumb questions, but feeling, do it with confidence. Don't be ashamed. To me, it enhances your presence and credibility when you have that confidence. But I want to expand upon the simplicity thing. I came across, I was thinking of a couple more terms around simplicity. The big one I hear a lot of today is ecosystem. Where did that come from? ecosystem. When I looked it up, it's a community of living organisms, plants and animals, like you would find in the Amazon rainforest. But ecosystem, I mean, can't we just say our stakeholders and partners and customers are ecosystem? Now, a word that's been around for a while, agile. Speed, speed, move quickly, let's get things done, let's execute. In coaching, in the coaching circles, they have a term called appreciative inquiry. Appreciative inquiry. Now, if I were young, I'd be afraid to ask what does that mean, because I, I didn't want to look dumb. But appreciative inquiry, I had a coach one time give a presentation on appreciative inquiry. I said, well, what does it mean? He gave a five minute explanation. I said, you mean it's asking good questions? He said, yes, five minute explanation. All it means is asking good and relevant questions. Design thinking. I know some people that have gone off site and taking one week courses on design thinking. I thought it was some innovative, creative approach to problem solving. Design thinking to me is problem solving. And it's an approach we've been using for years. I've been using for years. Here's what design thinking is. One, empathize the needs of the person you're working with. Define, two, define the problem and the needs. Okay, makes sense. Three, ideate, is a new word, ideate. In other words, brainstorm, come up with ideas, possible options and solutions, ideate. Why don't we just call it, come up with solutions, come up with ideas. Four, prototype, create the solution, put it together. Five, test it. Isn't that basic pro problem? To me, it's basic problem solving. I was thinking it's something really way out there, something new and innovative. And when I've seen it, why are we complicating it? Anyway, I'm too, I don't, I'm not smart enough to be complex and to speak with complexity. I can only speak with simplicity and practicality. And I hope this message sort of resonates with you. And maybe you might be feeling the same things that I feel sometimes. Thank you very much for listening.